Hello, Professor Sargent here with you again. Let's continue our discussion of solving linear equations. Now, on my secondary camera, I'm showing a list of steps. And in general, it is good to follow that list of steps, but it's not set in stone. So on this first one, I'm going to show you two options. The first one, following the directions of clearing of fractions first. So let's bring up the problem that we're going to take a look at here. There we go. All right. So. By the way, if you prefer to see the variable on the left-hand side, I'll write that. So since we have one fraction with a denominator of five, we could multiply both sides by five. Not sure what that noise was. Let's see. Okay, I can still write. Good. On the left side, these two fives are going to cancel. So that I'm left with negative 3z. And then on the right side, 5 times negative 6 is going to be negative. It's a negative 30. And then when I divide both sides by negative 3, I get that z is equal to positive 10. Now our second option, since we have a negative 3 fifths multiplied to z, we could divide both sides by negative 3 fifths. However, dividing by a fraction is going to be the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So how about, after I put the variable on the left-hand side, how about I multiply both sides by negative 5 thirds instead of 5? In that case, the two negatives here will cancel, the fives will cancel, the threes will cancel, and I'm left with one z. So I just write z. Whereas here, the negatives cancel, our answer is going to be positive, and three goes into six twice. So it boils down to a positive answer from multiplying five times two. Either way, we're getting the same answer. Our check, negative 3 fifths times 10, I would divide 5 into itself once and into 10 twice. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, what we desired on the other side of the equation. 